Hello everybody, I'm Just Games and welcome to part one today for the Bahrain Grand Prix in season one. Um, last episode we managed to actually make it into Formula One, but now we'll be it is time to actually sign possible. for a team. So, and um, this season? Tough choice, and yeah, I know. we uh, On this, screen, this, this woman just keeps opposite. talking. So I just skipped through it, <laughs> but yeah, time to uh, to sign for a team, and uh, I think it's pretty obvious which team we are going to go for, and that is the Kicksalber. Okay. Let's Who would you go. The choose our teammate, and we are going to go with Valtteri Bottas, because otherwise, if we picked uh, Joe Guanyu, then we'll be the first driver, and that just doesn't make sense for Ebrucky. So, yeah. Look at us, we look amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna sign for uh, for Kick Salba. Finally, let's do this for real. Sorry it took so long. You know what these legal types are like? Yes sir, no sir, here's 80 pages of NEPA's jargon, sir. Anyway, believe it or not, this is my excited face. Come on, come on, let me show you what we've got. So, all the usual stuff, merchandising, likeness, blah, 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 but the really juicy stuff is their expectation of you. They need you to challenge yourself all season, be the best you can be, dominate your teammate, become a legend. All that jazz. Now, it's over to you. So, okay, it's now time, it's time to sign a contract. And, um, so yeah, this is very, Here, very different from previous games. Um, so, that this progress so yeah, can be tracked by both parties. just listening to what she's saying. Here, you can view your current... Your current rating has been used as a starting point. Move this slider to set your target for next season. A higher target requires consistently good results at each race weekend. Here you can view your recognition with the team. The higher the target you set yourself, the more recognition you will earn when you sign. More recognition e You can see some basic information on the contract. A longer contract will give another recognition. Okay. So, for our set target, it's recommended that we go for 77 rated overall, but we're going to push the boundary a little bit. We're going to go for 80 uh, overall rating. Um, high risk, high reward, basically. So, uh, we'll, see, we'll leave us a 45%, 55% split at the team, which is ah. good. We're signed. So there we go. We're on the Formula One grid for 2024. <laughs> that sounds awesome to say. Time to go crush that target. I'll see you soon. And there we go. We are now officially a kick salvo driver as we've got a, a goal a available for our manufacturing goal. expert. We're just going to go very, very simple to complete a race weekend. This and... Um, yeah, that's the only one available at this uh, at this time. Welcome. And uh, yeah, how cool is this? I, I'm I'm liking the new menu, but ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the new season grid reveal, which is absolutely hilarious. And you'll see why when they do the wide shot. Oh, Gasly looking horrible. <laughs> but yes, and you you'll see the, in a second. <laughs> oh god, they're all the same height. <laughs> Yuki and Ricardo, oh god, I'm the same, same height. They're all the same height basically, which I just find absolutely funny. But, <laughs> yeah, with that being said, it is uh, is now time for...
for uh, for the race weekend. Now, oh yeah, there's this uh, this little cut scene here. Oh, so I recorded this a few days ago, and I've forgotten most of what has happened. In all honesty, so uh, yeah, well, you're just gonna have to deal with it basically. Um, but yeah, here we are in the menus. Oh yeah, and um, yeah, just going through the emails, see what's up. Um, no rain, but well, it's in bar rain, so you wouldn't expect any rain. And um, yeah, just showing the uh, the uh, the performance grid there. Seeing uh, we are the what is it, was it the sixth okay, fastest team, or the fourth slowest. So yeah, so we're going to a. Uh, I'm just going to show you. Um, one lap, my, my very, very first lap, in the kick saddle bar. Uh, I just want to show this off, just because, I don't know, it might be nice to uh, to see, but, yeah, very, very first laps, as is, uh, when you spam like left, right, left, right, it's very, very aggressive, we go into the nice little half spin there. <laughs> Trying to get onto uh, onto the throttle, but yeah, look, very aggressive. As now we actually start the track acclimatization practice program, and uh, yeah, we're going to ride on board for the the full lap for this. Two hundred and five miles an hour uh, at the end of that straight. Just decent enough speed, probably. Um, but yeah, you're essentially seeing my very first time driving the uh, the new handling model, what in an F1 car. Um, so yeah, this weekend is definitely going to be uh, a learning experience to say the least. And um, yeah, not expecting too much from the weekend, especially during my like, qualifying, perhaps. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we uh, what we can do as we are absolutely perfecting every single um, thing, <laughs> every single sort of point on the uh, the practice program because we are absolute masters at this game. <laughs> um, but yeah. That has been sort of a hot lap, but not really. Um, yeah, there we go. Very sweet. I'm absolutely master that program. But now it is, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our very first lap in Q1. This is um, our very first lap driving in anger. Um, let's see where. We can, uh, well, we can end up, really. Get a nice turn in there. Easy on the throttle. Obviously, we don't want to make any major spins or anything. Just like that. Nice S section there. As we go to the end of the lap. Good exit. All the way up to DRS, DRS open, all the way across the line, and it's P5 at the uh, at the moment, as we uh, set that very nice lap. But this is the second lap of Q1, because uh, I wasn't confident that our time was uh, was good enough. So uh, yeah, we're going to go again, brand new set of softs. Um. See, I'm not expecting to get into Q3, that's why we're using two softs now, two sets of softs, softs now. Um, but yeah, gaining, uh, just getting time in pretty much every corner as we get a little bit more comfortable with the car, where the limits are. Um, and yeah, as we fade away to the end of this lap now, we are almost 7 tenths gained as we turn into the final corner but we get on the throttle a little bit too early 
and we go very wide into the gravel and that is our Q1 or qualifying one complete basically um, and it turns out our first lap of the video was actually actually um, fast enough to bring into Q2 right uh, just about ahead of our teammate actually so uh, maybe this is where the pace of the car uh, is um, but we'll see what happens in Q2 but leaving Q1 is Kevin Magson, Pierre Gasly, Lucas Holland, Nico Hulkenberg and Daniel Ricciardo now it is time for our one and only lap in Q2 let's see how far up the grid we can end up as uh, we're getting a nice, nice traction out of that set of corners. Because um, I find uh, the, 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 the latest games on F1, uh, the turn one and turn two has always been absolutely dreadful for traction. Um, and it's, it's the same for this game. I think it's even worse for this game, so we need to be wary of that as we. Uh, Turn the fin final corner now. George Russell goes provisional pole, even though it's not provisional pole because it's Q2. But we actually go to second place. Good lord. We're 0 0.066 seconds behind George Russell. And uh, as the flags fall there in Q2, we end up in ninth position. We actually make it to Q3 in our very first F1 race. Valtteri Bottas in P6. So maybe the kick Sauber has it's just has got some decent pace around this track. Um or we are just too quick. <laughs> just to start off the season with. But yeah, Carlos Sainz actually out uh, knocked out in Q two there, very shock as uh Lance Stroll, Alexandra Alba, Nuki Snowden and Spanel can also get knocked out. But it is time for our Third and final hot lap in qualifying three. Let's see where we end up to start the uh, start the uh, the racing. As uh, we mount the curb, quite a lot there. Um, we struggled for traction a little bit. Very average turn in there, not too bad. We're not gonna push the car too much, um, especially because we don't want to go wide again like we did in Q2, but um, yeah, just trying to sort of bring it across the line, and just happy days basically, as we go a little bit too deep there, that's going to lose us some, uh, some time, but at least we managed to still keep it on the track, and yeah. We are riding on board for the entire lap, it seems. There we go. Second to last corner now. Again, a very smooth exit. Almost going off track. As Valtteri Bottas goes down provisional pole position. Wow, okay. Seems like he's got a lot of pace as we uh, turn the final corner. All the way on the land of Norris, provisional pole. Never mind, Sergio Perez is provisional pole position as we end up in fourth. Um, in fourth there, but as the flags fall, we end up in tenth, which is a very fair. I was not expecting to end up in uh, in Q3 whatsoever. Valtteri Bottas finishes in P9 as well, but Max Verstappen starts on pole position. Charles Leclerc in P3 and Sergio Perez, oh, P2, sorry, for Leclerc, and P3 is Sergio Perez. But now, it is time to start the race. No more testing, no more practice, this is the real deal. And it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. 
fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Fernando Alonso, Hamilton, Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Russell, Bottas, Williams, Sainz, Stroll, Albon, Sonoda, Ocon, Magnussen, Gasly, Sargent, Hulkenberg, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Now we go to five red lights. Seems like Valtteri, uh, sorry, Max Verstappen actually getting a grid penalty there. Maybe switching components as Leclerc actually starts from uh, from pole position. But yeah, like so, we go racing for the very first time in Bahrain. Very first race. Um, just basically trying to not make any contact whatsoever. We don't want to make contact in our very first race. And um, yeah, we're down into 11th. So we try to go down the outside there, but I'm not quite making it work. Um, but yeah, just trying to keep it clean as we actually go down the inside of Valtteri Bottas there. Um, I saw an opportunity, so we took it. But we did not get the traction, and, Val and Valtteri keeps the 10th uh, position there. So it was a nice attempt, but... Yeah, that is all she wrote, basically. Um, let's see, we're stick in the slipstream of Bottas. Just trying to bide our time, basically. And, uh, yeah, as I said, keep it clean. Keep it fresh. Better piece of Papa John's, you know? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Very, very cool stuff. So, Norris is actually... No, Norris started with P3. It's P3, P4 right now for the McLaren. So, McLarens are having a very strong start to the season so far. Which is uh, which is nice to see. As, uh... Yeah, not much happening on that first lap. As DRS is actually now activated. So, obviously, that's a new, uh, new rule for this year. Is DRS gets activated one lap earlier, so uh, yeah, there we go. We're actually Bottas and I are actually starting on the mediums, opposed to everyone else on the uh, on the soft compound of tyres. Um, so sort of spoiler alert: we struggle with tyre wear ridiculously a lot. <laughs> Um, basically, our mediums last less, last less than the softs. Our mediums wear out faster than the softs, which is just absolutely insane. So that is something we do need to uh, sort of rectify in future races. Get some tyre upgrades, probably. And, uh... And yes, yeah, so that's why you'll see me basically struggle throughout the entire race. Just because... Like, this highway is ridiculous. Um, you can even see now, I think the AI once again are ridiculously fast out of the straights. Because um, you can even see here, like we're already out of one second, already out of the DRS zone. For, uh, from Bottas, but Ocon goes down the inside. We tried to do like a double switch back, but Albon was there on our inside as well, so we weren't able to do that. But DRS open, a little bit of overtake, but um, yeah, not able to uh, to make a move to re overtake Ocon there. As, uh, as Albon wants to make some uh, positions up as well. But. Yeah, this is uh, this is not great, is it? Um, yeah, it's just go a little bit too deep there. Get really, really uh, off centered. Massive tank circle. Um I am terrible at compensating. Like. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, actually, God, awful. It's lap number four now. Ocon and Albon actually over overtook us. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, the tyre wear is ridiculous. Like, the tyre wear, like, mediums are going off already and it's only lap four. It was absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, just falling back. Really, just during the race. Our oh, tyre went, like, it, it really is just not great whatsoever. As Albon actually goes round the outside of Ocon. And uh, Kevin Magnussen goes down the inside of us. Although, uh, we give him a squeeze in, but we give him a respectful amount of room. He's got the DRS, so we tuck it into the step stream. Um, Magnussen goes defensive, and we swing around the outside. Just about. Uh, Magnussen tucks in behind us, as Albon actually made the move ahead of us. And uh, leaves Ocon all to ourselves, basically. But, yeah, engine slightly uh, slightly overheating here, which makes sense because we're in the desert. It is very hot, and we are in the dirtier of, uh, of Orcom. As we, uh, yeah, go off the racing line just to try and get some fresh air to our engine. But I didn't seem to, uh, to help too much. In all honesty, um, but yeah, lap number eight now, the end of lap number eight, and uh, we are actually into the. Uh, we're actually going to be into the pits because um, yeah, our mediums are just dead. You can even see in the bottom right-hand corner there, the orange uh, tire, which means it's slightly to uh, becoming puncture territory as uh, as uh, so the leaders are actually in the pits as well but we go into a set of another medium tires um, hopefully the this set actually lasts a little bit longer because obviously we are a fair bit lighter on fuel um, which in theory should help the tire temperatures and uh, the tire wear in general uh, but yeah, we come out in P18 now. Um, but yeah, there we go. Absolutely. Oh, to be honest, it was, it was a horrible stint, the first stint. Um, but hopefully, the second stint can be slightly better. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolutely dying here. So Max and behind actually goes onto the uh, the hard compound tyres. It's lap number ten now. Uh, the rest of the grid pretty much is in, and we jump Ocon and Albon. We just about jump Albon there, but um, yeah, seems like the the undercut works really really well, and. Uh, yeah, we get up into 14th, this is now. And... Yeah, I mean... We're gonna try and push forwards, but... Oh, well, guys, we're probably just going to be looking back behind us. For... The entire... Race, essentially. Um... Yeah. <laughs> There we go. I now need to say words to keep this commentary going. This commentary going. But, yeah, fade away now onto lap number 11. Album with DRS open goes down our inside. We go really defensive, but swing back to the racing line. And, um, yeah, we give Album room. Album has got DRS. Oh, no, we've got DRS, sorry. And we use overtake to, uh, Push ahead, lay on the brakes into turn three, and we keep. Oh, sorry, I'm hit my mic there. And we keep uh, 12th position. 
which is lovely chocolate, isn't it? Always great when you uh, when you keep a position. Um, currently, no idea where on earth Bottas is in the race, but hopefully, he is uh, up the field, slightly getting some points. Oh my god! At right, the uh, the end of lap eleven now. We go really, really defensive again, but Ocon sends it down the inside. We try to hang it around the outside, but yeah, Ocon is going to have DRS, so we once again stick into the slipstream as Alba goes around the outside, and we are going to go three wide into turn one. And oh my god, loads of contacts being made there. Thankfully, doesn't seem like we got any damage um, as we try to now catch back up to Albon who got ahead of us around the outside into turn one but uh, yeah tried asking um, the Thema Jake whoever Mark whatever his name is the vehicle condition but he decided to ignore me so I'm going to assume that we don't have any damage whatsoever and so, uh, yeah, trying our best now. DRS open, a little bit of overtake to get us going to catch up back up onto Albon because we want that position back. Um, yeah, we got absolutely sandwiched into turn one. Nothing we really could have done, but thankfully, as I said, no damage. And uh, now we look forward. On to lap 14 now. We've pretty much got no ERS, but DRS is open. And we lay on the brakes around the outside of Albon into turn one. We uh, force him wide a little bit. And we get back up into P11. This is on Bottas, as you can see on the leaderboard there. P9. As Albon tried to. Uh, Stick it down the inside, and it actually makes it work. We almost go side by side into this X S section here, but thankfully he backs out, and we, uh, yeah, we remain in P11. But yeah, tyre wear once again, absolutely killing us as we go defensive into turn three. Um, once again, almost going side by side. Well, we've got the inside line, so we force him wide, and that is, uh, that is all. But, yeah, we will be pitting on, uh, at the end of this lap, onto, uh, on ourselves hard tyres. Hopefully, the hard tyres now actually last us and actually have some decent pace around here um, just to make it a little bit easier to defend really but yeah lovely job there you go there's a mark uh, reminding us to box 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 um, yeah don't really know what else to uh, to say really <laughs> so yeah end of lap 16 we are in the pits um, Ocon actually joins us in the uh, in the pits oh is that Gasly that's Gasly actually no never mind Ocon stays out but um, yeah turning into our pit box we are now on to the hard set of tyres um, yeah Coming out in P19. Don't know what's happened to uh, to Hamilton because he's down in P18. Um, maybe he put the same lap as we did, but I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, even still, we're 11 seconds, good lord, behind Hamilton. So I think he did put um, on uh, on this lap, but. Yeah, now we just need to uh, focus, get our head down, set some qualifying style laps 
to uh, try and make up as many places as we can, make up as much time as we can. And it's going on to lap number 18 now. Everyone else is pretty much in the pits. And um, yeah, we once again jump Ockham, we jump Album um, by a lot more this time. So uh, yeah, and seven seconds behind Bottas now. So we did actually gain a fair bit of time uh, pitting slightly earlier, one lap earlier, and um, yeah, there we go, lovely, jovely, as uh, on to lap number 19 now, everyone else is in the pits, as Albon tries to uh, go down the inside once again, we go lay on the brakes, and try to hold it round the inside, we'll make it work, leaving him some room though. We have GRS once again, and we'll make a copycat move on what we did on uh, the lap earlier, with uh, DRS a little bit of overtake, and holding it round the outside. Um, yeah, but P13 after all of the, the pits stops now, and... Uh, yeah, Gasly goes down the inside. Um, we just give him the place because, because we uh, we're now in the slipstream overtake going. Even though Gasly has DRS, we make it work with the uh, the slipstream and overtake flowing, and we're back up into P13. I think there's maybe one or two more people actually still need to pit, so, uh, yeah, one person does pit on lap 21 now, as, uh, Gasly, we, we, we slowed down for Gasly on purpose to get the, uh, the DRS now, and, um, and yeah, up into P11 again. And, we'll be honest, this is where we're pretty much going to stay for the rest of the race. <laughs> um, just a little annoying, but... Yeah, on to lap 26 now, as we are spectating Bottas's fight with Piastri and Science. Because uh, nothing else happens during our race, so... Might as well get a little bit more entertainment. Um, but yeah... Piastri remaining ahead as Carlos Sainz actually makes a double overtake around the outside, but actually not making it work just yet yeah, as Piastri is just still there, keeping his uh, his nose in, keeping his wheels in, and um, yeah, still side by side, which is absolutely great racing indeed. But yeah, Piastri backs up a little bit down into this heavy breaking zone, and um, yeah, DRS open now for both Piastri and Bottas, but not making a move just yet, perhaps waiting until the uh, the main straight to make an overtake, as uh, yeah, we're just going to spectate Bottas's rest of the race, because as I said, nothing else happens and it's boring. <laughs> um, Piastri in the slipstream now, he's actually not going to wait until DRS, and he goes down the inside, into the last corner, and, um, yeah, still side by side, absolutely great racing here, as Piastri and Bottas get the DRS open, Bottas goes down the inside now, making it three wide once again, down into turn one, Bottas gets on the curb, but so is that Piastri down, but Card of Science goes round the outside, and um, and yeah, wow, what great racing this is! It's actually much nice, well, much better to see than uh, than the mess of a race we've been having with uh, with the tyre. But the fight is not over. We uh, Bottas wants the P8. And he's not going to stop until he gets P8. And, uh, yeah, there we go. DRS now open. 
don't think he's going to make a move into uh, into the corner here, but <coughs> excuse me, expression one burp. <laughs> um, but yeah, trying to catch up. Um, you can see Bottas does actually have some genuine pace, and it is nice to see that our teammate has got pace when we don't. But um, yeah, Bottas pretty much. Pushing science through the last corner there, so he's definitely going to make it move into the DRS zone as um, both DRSs are now open. Bottas goes to the right, goes to the left now, and uh, tries to sail on by round the outside down into turn one, and he does make it work. However, science. He, does, he doesn't like that. And he goes down the inside once again of Bottas. And, um, and Carlos, oh my god. Science and Bottas make contact. And um, as you can see there, Science actually loses his front left wing there. So I think that is going to be the uh, the end of the fight there for at least Bottas. But Piacere still needs to get on by. Um... And yeah, so we're just gonna watch Piastri. He's not even on our team, and it's still more entertaining. Um, but yeah, science Piastri still got DRS. You can see us in the background there. We are slowly catching up, but nowhere near enough laps to even uh, to even do that. Um, but yeah, every left hander you could just see Piastri catching up a lot. Um, Oh, science actually harvesting some battery there. That's nice to see as uh, Piastri is not going to wait once again for the DRS. He's going to go round the outside at the final corner. Sail on by. And, um, and yeah, that is going to be that for, uh, for the P8 slash P9 fight. Which is very exciting to see. As, uh, yeah, last lap of the release... As you can see, nothing interesting has happened. It's all been the exact same. Tire wear kicking in once again. And, uh, yeah, we, find, uh, we come round now to the last corner. We, uh, Leclerc wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. And we cross the line for P11. A very, very solid race, all things considered. Um... But yeah. A fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the desert. Well, all that off-season work clearly paying off here today. A brilliant way to start the season with a solid victory. It's a real good confidence boost as well. And you feel like that's going to really propel them forward through to the next race coming up. And there well, we go then. Certainly was an exciting weekend of Formula One. Our first sure F1 race in our career is completed and uh, yeah Bottas getting four points for our team there a very very good race for Bottas indeed uh, we unfortunately don't make it into the points but yeah as I said overall a very good race indeed um, Landon Norris can P2 there very um, very solid for him um, but yeah there we go as I said, good race indeed. Now we uh, we focus on to the next race as we now go to see our uh, our stats after this race. Uh, five out of six rivalry for Bottas. That's fine. I'm not going to care about rivalry too much. We'll be honest. Our experience goes up. Racecraft awareness and pace. Basically everything goes up. Um, going yeah. As I said, a very good race indeed but that is all for today make sure you guys subscribe leave a like leave a comment all that good stuff thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye